Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video it's going to be about the combat system. I'm going to be continuing the series about time finally, right? It's been three months. I've only been doing the tutorials because I got bored with it. I got demotivated. So now I'm going to be continuing it because a lot of you guys have been asking me to continue it. You guys have been asking me to make a part about head effects. So yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so for the head effects, we're going to be using a module I've created for the JoJo series. I'm going to put a download in the description. So this is how the module works. It has a few parameters. The head, the part that we hit, the enemy humanite, our character, the properties, I'll get into that later, and the function. So the function is optional. You can make a function for the effects, but then put the function inside of the parameter. And if the function exists, it will call it. So there's a few properties inside of this function. It's not actually properties, but I just call them properties. So there's a few properties called stun duration, um, the damage, and the knockback. The knockback property is for the position, position. And as you can see right here, for my knockback, I don't use, I didn't use body velocity. I used linear velocity because Body velocity is not deprecated, so that's why I used linear velocity. It probably works better too. There's not really any specific way to add in new properties. You don't need to declare the properties here. You can just uh, make a new index. You can just do something like this. You can just make a property table, property, and just add whatever you want inside of here. It's not going to have an error or something like that. Now you can just delete this. So we're going to replace this with the function. We can just put in the properties and put in the parameters and it's going to shorten the shorten the scripts. But the main appeal of this module script is that it's going to be easier to implement new mechanics such as counters when you make a moveset system, like when you make skills. And instead of um, checking for if the enemy counters or not and copy pasting it in every single script, you can just connect them to one single module script and you can change the module script whatever you want. Right, so I'm gonna cut all of this and I'm going to be putting it inside of the hit module. It's easy when you want to add in new properties. You can, do, you can just do something like this. If properties dot curve break equals uh, you don't need to do that then do this and you can and I can add in the combo attribute and then I'm going to make and then I'm going to make a combo variable equals our character get attribute combo as age it's not called as age it's called Stun handle. Ehum and ehum enemy humanite. Um humanite. Yeah, that's it. You know, I'll just make it a function here to make it cleaner. Google function guard break. Just copy this. Garbage check, you know, I'm just going to garbage check, check. So it doesn't uh, make the script messy. Then put in a few parameters, like property, like a character, and combo. And enemy humanoid and properties. That's all. And I'm going to put in the animation. I'm going to put it in server storage and then make a folder called animations. Actually, I just put this inside of replica storage. Animation. Put rename this to card bake. Put this to replicated storage. And 
I think I will do the same for the animations instead of our logo script. Nah, but I'll do that later. And the animations should be inside of game dot replicated storage dot animations dot guard big. And that should be it. Put in guard big check. Guard big check. GB check. Put in the parameters e character. Enemy humanoid parent. The combo. Combo. And what's that? Enemy humanoid. Enemy humanoid. And the properties. Yeah, that's all. And I can just make the properties instead of here. I'll do the properties. Eh, I'll do the properties right here. Actually, not that right here. Well, properties. Our name is to hit properties. Hit properties. Hit properties dot damage equals five. Hit properties dot stun duration equals. 0.35 okay hit module have I required the module no I haven't required the module local hit module acquire game but server storage server for storage dot modules dot hit module Mod Bro, what is it called? Oh, I haven't put any inside of here. Let's put this inside of here and let's require it. Hit module. Then call the function. Hit module dot hit. The hit. The enemy humanoid. A hum. Our character. Character. Properties. Hit properties. That's it. So now let's do some let's put this above here. And instead of calling this knockback function, we're going to add in the property, the knockback property. Knockback equals this. Let's cut this. Let's also do this here, 100, and remove this. Let's put the card break property here inside here. Dot card break, capital B. So when I touched um, an NPC, it's going to check if the combo is smaller than five. If the combo is smaller than five, it's going to add in the knockback property. To hit properties, it's going to add an, inde an index, and the value will be this. And if it's five, then it's going to guard break, and it's going to knock back further away. Let's see if this works, and then we can do the particles. Why is it doing so much damage? Oh yeah, I forgot to remove this. Yep, they should work perfectly fine. Oops. Let me unslack this and oh, it's synced. Yeah, it works. So now let's get into the effects. You can just make a function for the effects. Just do something like this, make a function, and then we put in the function inside. Oh yeah, let's also remove this. Since we already did this one in here. And then we could put in the function in here. Hold on, let's make a particle real quick. <laughs> you serious? I'm 
effect. Hit effects, and I'll put this inside of the script. Let's create the hit, hit effects function real quick. Local hit effects. Local function hit effects. The hit. And yeah, local attachment. A was instance that new attachment. 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 And a dot parent equals hit. Local particle. Hit local particle equals script dot hit effects clone. Particle dot parent equals a, and then particle omit. One. It's go I'm going to omit one particle, and to be add item particle. No, no. Let's remove the attachment. So the particle also get removed. Let's remove. I'll remove this in 0.5 seconds. Okay, let's just put this inside of here. The parameters are going to be an issue. So yeah, I'll just put this inside of here. Tip the touched. Yeah. So I don't have to use any parameters inside of the head effects function. Yeah, let me organize this. Seems a bit messy. Combo speed? I don't know. Combo, combo delay. Yeah. Combo, and the character. And the human. Combo delay, character, and no, no, it's combo, it's character, and it's zero. Right. Okay, I'll just change it to 16. I'll also change my walk speed when I'm attacking. Humanoid, walk speed, I'll change this to maybe 7. And then we'll change it back to 16 in this script. Where is it? Combo delay. Yeah. Alright, it slows me down now. And the head effects works. It kinda sucks, but it's fine. As you can see, my hitbox is really iffy. I'm not sure why. Why is this effect so bad? <laughs> so garbage. Oh no. <laughs> this is why I use free models, bro. Not, uh, I'll forget it. Let's add in the sounds. Let's find a sound. I, I, I'll use this. This looks. This sounds cool. I'll put this inside here. And. It's the same thing. Local SFX. Hold on. Yeah, let's put this here. Local SFX equals script dot sound special SFX clone. And let's parent it to the head. Hit. And then let's play it. SFX. Play. Let's also remove this sound effects. Yeah. Mm. Let me push this down a little. Yeah, it's 
good. So this is it for this video. I'm sorry if it's quite slow. So in my next video, I am going to rework the hitbox. I'm also going to do that for the Jito series because as you can see, sometimes my punches whiff and it doesn't hit. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time.